In this video guide, we're going to see how we can visualize 3D models in WordPress. We can use different uh, plugins. I'm going to test, I'm going to try here a couple of plugins. This one here is called Embed 3D Model Viewer, and it has like a tree instead of a, a E. And I'm just going to install it here from the plugins page of WordPress. Of course, if you don't know WordPress, you can check our main video course these are just additional video guides and so i'm going to click on activate and um, i'm going to try it out so this is the usual procedure you need to do with any plugin including the ones for 3d uh, visualization in this case so i'm going to find it here in the plugins and you can see it's installed so there you go and usually you find also some information here in the details and you can delete it or deactivate it if you feel you don't uh, need it. So um, it's found here in the right side. And I think you need to upgrade to premium to have like the features, the main features, because if we go here, we need a key. So we need to insert a key and possibly then we can use it like fully, but uh, apparently it doesn't have any other like free feature so i tried to go into documentation but i didn't find anything uh, you have also contacts there and everything else but this is just to show you uh, how it works a couple of um, examples now another important part is the media library so this is where you can add media and in we can drag and drop upload 3d files so in my case i'm gonna upload a 3D file that I want to see displayed. I'm going to upload a GLB file. And uh, once it's uploaded, if, if I create a new post, then it should be visible in here. So I'm going to go and click on the plus. And that's the, all the various media I can use, but I cannot find 3D. So let's go to Browse All. And I'm going to type 3D. And you see here, embed is not visible. But we have others. We can try others. I'm going to try this one, 3D Viewer, which possibly will work. And there you go. That something changed. Uh, I, I see everything is purple. And it says, please upload a model or enter a model link first. So we need the link here. Or we need to upload a model, which we already done. But anyway. Let's see what it's saying here on the right side. So it's saying that here I need to insert a GLB or GLTF file, which I already uh, uploaded. But anyway, I'm going to show you quickly where you can get some of these files if you don't have it, or you can create your own using Blender, using other open source software or 3D software. So this is Sketchfab. It's a website where you can get 3D models. And also we created other video guides dedicated to Sketchfab. If you want, you will find it in the channel. I'm using here this model at the moment. So the procedure is go here, download it. Well, you need to create an account in Sketchfab in order to download. Download the GLB version, which uh, contains also materials. Or you can try also with GLTF. I'm going to try with GLB this time. And there you go. So you just select here the file I've already uploaded so I just need to select it there you go click and select you can type some title information caption etc etc I'm just gonna go with the 3d model and well uh, it's not visible here but we link it we upload it so let me save this draft up here on the right top right and let's view, let's do a preview on a new tab. So you're going to see a new window. And also I need to stop the ad block here. So I'm going to pause and refresh. And now I should see the visualizer appearing right here. You can see it's doing something. We can see a progress bar that is uh, growing. So depending on the size of the mesh, of the 3D model, that's going to take more or less time, depending on how many polygons. And there you go. So this is these are the shoes. 
I can zoom in, zoom out using the scroll wheel. I can click and drag and orbit around. I can change the point of view. I can see the 3D model from any angle. This is the advantage of using a 3D model and a 3D visualizer instead of a static image, especially if you are selling like products, if you are uh, if you want to do uh, a commerce side, e-commerce side, you want to show your product from all point of views. You want the people to understand fully how the object is made and the various parts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, if you leave it alone, it's going to do like a really slow turntable, which is also pretty cool. So let me close this preview. Let's go back here to the to the new post page, and you can see now there is a link. So you can use a link. You can also change the dimension of the visualizer. You can see the navigation commands in there. So you have some customization, not too much. And probably in the premium version here, if you upgrade to the premium version, you're going to have more options. The loading, if you want lazy loading and uh, other stuff. So here I don't write anything. I'm not writing any title, any description, but you should do that for SEO, search engine optimization. And just going to finish here to show you how you can uh, upload this. So uh, let me let me go back. So I'm going to just leave this post unfinished and I'm going to go back to, well, to upload, you need to go to the media library. And from there, there you go. So this is the media library. I can see every file, every multimedia file I've uploaded images, videos, and also 3D objects. You can also delete things you don't want permanently. You can uh, copy the URL from here, or view the file, and uh, you can download the file again in your computer. So not only upload, but also download. Let's go to add, and again, this is where you can add, drag and drop the file from the windows, or you can click and select, and usually when you download from Sketchfab, you find a zip file, a zip folder. So you need to first extract that folder. Once you extract it, you can then copy and paste those files wherever you want. In my case, I created a Sketchfab folder where I put all my Sketchfab files and this is the files. So uh, if you're not sure, you can also see the visualizer in Windows. We don't see the material here, only the 3D model. And if you right click, you can go in the details, the properties of the, the file in the 3 in the details, you can see if it's a 3D object and which format it is. So I know this is a GLB, so I'm sure this is good. So that's it. I'm going to just click on open and I'm going to upload it. That's it. This is how you put it in your media library. Once it's in your media library, then you can work with it, with the 3D visualizer and things like that. So this will be all for this video guide. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated for more. If you want to thank us, please join the channel as a supporter. We constantly publish videos about 3D design, graphic design, web design, video editing, and much, much more. If you're looking for something specific, you may want to use the search bar that you find in the channel homepage. And that's it. So thanks again and see you in the next video guide.